Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I did this French dip set on press-ons. Um, this is actually like really, really highly requested, so I'm really excited to show you guys how I get this gorgeous nail bed color. And yeah, so let's get into it. So before we get into it, I just really wanted to show you guys the colors that I got from Madame Glam. These are the new rubber base coats. They have been out for a little bit, but I just wanted to include this part in the video just because I feel like it's important so you guys can see the colors that they have. Um, they do have a few other colors in this collection to choose from, but these are just so amazing, you guys. They're really, really perfect for using on your natural nail bed, which is what I love because um, it just really helps strengthen everything that you... Like, if you were to apply these on press-ons, which is what I'm going to be doing, they really help strengthen the nail um but using them on your natural nail beds will really have them like really protected and stuff i used this same pink one underneath um uh, my like gel x dupe extensions that i did in a few videos back um and it just really really helped strengthen my nails to this day those nails are still on you guys oh my gosh it's crazy um i'll talk about that a little bit later but yeah i love that pink color then we're gonna do this one this one's called malaysia and it's so so beautiful this one's more of a milky pink color um one thing that i did want to let you guys know is to get the nail bed color that i showed you guys in that little clip right in the beginning um you do need to use sheer colors so the sh more sheer your colors are going to be the more natural the nail bed area will look because it'll look like acrylic um which is exactly like the goal that i was going for and the goal that i go for for all of my press-ons um and this color right here i really love this one has a little tiny hint of glitter in it but it's so beautiful definitely um one of those essential colors that you always need especially those pinks too but i love this one it's really really unique and it, you can literally use it for so many different things so i'm going to be going in with two coats so you guys can see how buildable the coverage is this is what makes it have that beautiful pink nail bed if you guys are looking for that type of color i highly recommend this color in this pink base gel and then this other milky pink color is so perfect for just that beautiful gorgeous almost like a milk bath type of nail um with a little bit more of a pink tint to it if you guys know my favorite um or sorry you guys might know one of my favorite uh, milky whites is winter white by eye gel but these are just stunning you guys so these are like i said thicker in consistency so they're perfect to use as the base for your nails and i just love them so much um definitely worth your money and i'm literally gonna get so much use out of these i've already used them so much and yeah you guys so that's the second coat of the last color and then this is what they look like so beautiful and i will be leaving the link to these down below along with the coupon code that you guys can use um i don't get anything from the code this is just for you guys in case you wanted to save a little bit of money and i'll also put it right here on the screen but i love these so right now i'm just letting them cure in the lamp so you guys can see the final outcome of all the colors and yeah, you guys, I'm so excited for this video. I actually get requested for it a lot. I wanted you guys to be able to see the background a little bit clearer. So I went ahead and just put this white paper down so you guys can actually see like what the colors really, really look like. And look at you guys. Oh my gosh. That pink color is the perfect nail bed color. So now we're going to be getting into the set. Um, I did already grab my extra extra long tips a lot of people always ask me where I get these but I am going to be linking them down below from two different stores someone asked me like what um, which ones I actually use I literally use both brands just depends what price point you're going for and things like that um, the e-nail couture ones of these tips are a little bit thicker and then the tulip nail supply ones which are the ones I also use are just a little bit thinner but they're both the same shape and length and everything like that. So I'm going to be going in with my base coat. And I'm going to be doing um, one layer of this on every single nail. And you guys keep in mind, this was literally my first time ever making this nail bed color. Um, I do show you guys later the inspo picture. And it's actually like... Um, looks almost identical to the inspo pick. It's actually crazy, but I was really trying to replicate that look of just um, acrylic powder like with gel and it's really really difficult to achieve because you have to layer a lot of colors. So anyways, I'm using my Madame Glam base coat first on every single nail after they're buffed. Um, always remember don't over buff your nails because then your polish can possibly peel. It happens sometimes. Um, so just think about that. And then um, like I said, it was my first time doing this type of nail bed color. So I did end up going in with like this milky white, which is the same white that I just mentioned, the Winter White by iGel Beauty. Um, I'll put the name here because sometimes I know I talk really fast and then some people are, um, might not understand what I'm saying. I literally just talk so fast. I get anxiety sometimes, you guys, like when I'm filming. If you guys watch me, you already know that. 
But um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing here. After this is done curing, you guys will see me put on that milky white color. I got this idea of doing this type of nail bed color by um, Sean Legend or Sean Legend or I think that's how you say his name. I'm not sure. I'll put his Instagram right here on the bottom so that I can give him credit. But I did see him apply like um, a milky white acrylic like to his client's nail bed and then he went ahead over it with like a sheer pink color and it made the perfect like baby pink. Um, I wish I had like a clip of that video. I have no idea where I saw it. It might have been TikTok, but it could have been Instagram too. But anyways, so I'm trying to kind of replicate that same idea by using the white as the milky base like color. Um, so that the pink actually stands out more because the pink is so sheer. So kind of like when you apply a white base with a neon color on top to make the color stand out, it kind of has that same type of idea. Um, but instead you want the colors to stay kind of sheer, which is why we're using the winter white, which is the sheer... Um, like milky white color and then going over it with like the sh really super sheer pink to try and give it that really nice milky pink acrylic like nail bed so um I don't know if I would do this same method again it did come out absolutely gorgeous after after you guys will see like the whole entire process but it was a lot of layers so I don't know if I would try to switch something up next time um, let me know if you guys have any suggestions down below of what I should do next time maybe to use like less layers I'm kind of thinking instead of going in with like that um, regular base coat which was completely kind of unnecessary if you have the Madame Glam rubber base gels in that sheer pink you can definitely just go in with that base coat instead and then go in with um, the layers of the other pinks that you guys will see later on in the video um, I hope I'm not like being like super rambly or like not making sense but I don't know it just makes more sense to me if I would have done it that way but I'm also grabbing this color right here I'll put the name of it right here on the screen and I'm going to be going over it one time with um, this color on top of the milky white colors so like I said again um, I'm like repeating myself but literally I didn't know exactly where to go on this route like what color I should use or what would probably work and what wouldn't I was noticing that this color was okay but like it, if you can tell like it literally basically did nothing for the nails like you can barely even see that there's a difference in color there so I still did it just because like it was already there but at the same time I was like hoping that um, if I went in with like another layer or something that it would actually come out better but it really wasn't so we're gonna see um, in a bit what colors I end up using but I'm gonna list the final colors that you guys should definitely get at the end of the video so that it's not so confusing with all the different colors that I was using so after that um, I did go in with the Madame Glam um, base gel the rubber base coat and you guys oh my gosh this made the biggest difference right there you saw me wiping it off because I forgot to wipe off the sticky layer from the milky white um you guys don't mind my freaking cat in the background but um literally yeah it's literally so crazy because you can definitely see the perfect nail bed color starting to show through after with this Madame Glam color it just really started coming together honestly that other color that I used before this was completely unnecessary I'm not even gonna um, like I'll link it down below but I'm not going to link it as one of the essentials for this video because it did nothing for me like I should have just went in with this color and not even used um, I should have never used that one layer of that random pink color that I used from eye gel but yeah this color definitely made it you guys look at that freaking color oh my gosh I love it so literally this is definitely an essential if you're going to get this um, anything from this video literally that base gel is worth it you guys so worth it like I said you can also use it on top of your natural nails before applying your gel x dupes like if you guys have that beetles kit um definitely do that and it'll kind of like give your nail bed a really pretty color and it'll really protect your nails um this video was actually filmed let me check the date you guys i literally don't even know when this video was filmed it was filmed a little bit ago but i have the same nails on still which is crazy like i literally can't believe that the nails are still on so this was filmed august 3rd and i had the nails on as you can see they're still looking good Keep in mind, I did those nails a few videos back. So they're still looking good. And then it's August 10th right now, you guys. And those nails are still on. That is absolutely crazy. Like, the nails are still on. And I filmed that video so long ago. Like, me doing those nails. So if you wanted an update on that Beatles little kit, get it, you guys. Don't even hesitate. Just go get it. Because it's so worth it. Um, I did show how I applied them in a few videos back. I think I already said that. But... Let me check like how many total days it's been since I did that set. I'm like going back to see. Um, I can't find it. So I did them this day I think. Yeah this was the day I did them. 
So I did these nails on July 19th. Oh my gosh, you guys. July 19th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You guys, they have been on for 23 days. Like, that's absolutely crazy. So, they've been on for over three weeks now, these nails. And these are literally a $20 Beatles kit, like, dupe set. So, of course, I did use different nail tips, but just the glue and everything all together really really worked so if you guys were wondering like i said an update three weeks plus they've been on and they are not budging they're like literally on there stuck on there i'm gonna have to soak them off but yeah so that's what i'm doing here and then to actually go ahead and get that really pink color i did go in with this one color by dnd dc i'll link it down below i really don't know the name off the top of my head but I think it's literally called clear pink or something like that. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. But I'll actually put it, um, the name right here on the screen. I'll go to my room really quick and check. But I am definitely, definitely going to put that in the list of essentials. If you guys have a milky white, the Madam Glam, um, like pink sheer color, and then this color, you guys will get the perfect pink nail bed. I promise you it'll be so gorgeous. And you guys, I'm so sorry about my cat in the background. But this is the color I'm going in with here. And you guys, it's just making the biggest difference, honestly. It's just so, so amazing. Um, another one of my favorites is this other color by DND. Or no, um, I Gel Beauty, I believe. Um, it's called Ballet or something. Oh my gosh, you guys. I literally don't know the names of my colors. I'm going to list right here so you guys can screenshot the names of all the essential colors. Just to make it easy. Um, so right here, I'll list the name of all the colors. The names of all the colors that I think you should get to make this set and I'm also going to be linking all of these down below just so that you guys can purchase them um the only thing that I hate about eye gel is like they charge a lot for shipping I think I'm not really sure um I don't remember but yeah just keep that in mind so what I'm doing here is I'm just going in with all of those colors and it's just making the perfect perfect color that I really really need and I did end up going in with two coats of that last color, the blush pink one by Eye Gel Beauty, um, the one that I put on the screen. So I did do two coats of that one. And as you can see, look at this color. It's perfect, exactly, exactly what we need. And then I'm going to be, um, like I said, this is the second coat. And I am going to be wiping off the sticky layer after with some alcohol and a um, lint-free wipe. And then right here in a little bit, I'm going to show you guys the most essential colors that I think you definitely need. Um, the only one that was in here was Winter White, but these are the colors. You can take a screenshot if you wanted. Um, these are the colors that you'll most likely need in your collection. You literally, even if you don't use um, the other two, the ones you need from this video are the blush pink and then the Madame Glam one. But the other two essentials, you guys, oh my gosh, you need them. Like just get them because you'll definitely be using them if you like going for this type of vibe or like this type of milky pink color. And as you guys know, I always go ahead and make sure to file up the nails after I'm done. Um, this is just a tip if you are getting new to press-ons and you don't know how to keep your shape really crisp. When I have a lot of layers of gel polish, I always notice that sometimes the nails on the sides can tend to get bulky and, um, you know, the sides will get a little bumpy or something. Before I even go in with my design or anything or top coat, I always file the sides um, to make sure that we get rid of all of that bulkiness that may have been there from the gel polish. This doesn't do anything. This doesn't shrink the nails because I'm only filing um, like the part where gel polish would have been like 
um, add, like would have added extra width to the nail. So you're not even actually filing the actual nail tip. You're just filing like the gel polish that's sticking out. Um, that's making the shape look a little bit wonky, I guess you can say. Um, and as you guys know, I always, always, always file the tops of the nails after I'm done um, with application and everything. I noticed that I did this before and usually I do it at the very end once they're top coated and everything like that. But um, I just did it before this day. I don't know why, but you can also do it this way and then paint on your design. So after we're done with filing and everything like that, I'm going to go ahead and clean off the nails. And I am using my dust collector underneath here. This is my dust collector from Macar. I'll go ahead and link it down below in case you guys wanted to check it out. And I also have a code. Um, it's Nail Slate by Val. I'll put it here in case you guys were interested, but I'll also leave it in the description box. Um, but I do love this dust collector, you guys. It is a lifesaver when you're doing nails. Like, oh my gosh. And right there, I was showing you guys the before and after um sometimes this little putty thing gets kind of um dry especially if you've had it on your press on stand for a while i use the gorilla glue putty i'll link that down below as well sometimes i forget to link things you guys like i'll say like oh, i'll link this i'll link this in the video and then once i'm like actually there um putting the description box in i'm like oh my gosh i don't even remember what i said i was gonna link like i forget but um i'll make sure to link everything that i'm using and then these nail files that I use are just a 100-180. This particular brand I don't recommend that much because they do bend and they're kind of flimsy. You might be able to tell here that they're kind of bending and stuff. So um, I don't recommend these a lot. I really wish I could just find some good high quality nail files that'll just be like my essentials or something. But for right now, this is what I use. And then I'm just taking my dust brush and dusting all the nails off. And then I'm going in with the other set and filing the tops as well. Okay, you guys, so now we're going to get started on our French tips. So this French tip tutorial is going to be a little bit more in depth. Usually, I think the times that I've done a French, it's either like just doing like a quick nail or something. Um, but I just really wanted to show you guys how to make your press ons look really, really bomb and amazing, especially when you're doing a French tip. I don't know if you guys that have been doing press ons or if you guys do gel X or something, if you've noticed that sometimes when you go in with so many layers of color and then you try to do a French tip on top, the French tip part can be kind of lumpy. Um, that's why I filed the sides of the nails first. That will really help you out with your shape and making sure everything stays as crisp as possible. So what I'm doing here is I'm just grabbing my Madame Glam white gel paint. You guys, this is an essential product. I promise you this is a literally like my ride or die white gel um it's so pigmented as you guys can see i'm just doing like swiping motions and right here i am using a tiny little i think this is like a poly gel application brush these are the best type of brushes to use um for french tips if you're going to be painting them on doing gel x or doing um press-ons or anything like that this is literally the best um brush to use um, if I was using like a normal gel polish, I would just swipe on all the white. So you're going to swipe it on kind of, as you can see on the thumb there, I was already kind of mapping out a little bit like where the nail bed, um, like the, uh, what is it called? The C line or like the, oh my gosh, you guys, there's a word for it, but I can't think of it right now. I'm literally having a brain fart, but basically where the like nail bed part is gonna go or the, like the oval shape so I'm kind of just like already mapping it out a little bit and I'm going in and wiping the white making the nails white for every single one and kind of just mapping it where I wanted it to go and I'm doing this because in a second I'm gonna have to clean my brush so I don't want to do one nail one by one because that'll take a really long time always make sure that you're working as efficient efficiently as possible but you guys definitely um, make sure you're charging for French tips because they are not easy to do these take a lot of skill a lot of practice a lot of time um, this whole set like without me editing the video took an hour and around like 20 minutes for just this simple set to what someone would might look like 
Um, like a normal person might see it and be like, oh my gosh, that's so simple. It's literally just a French tip. But you guys, it's way more than that. As you guys can see, I had to use so many layers of product. Um, a lot of good high quality gel polishes, base coating them, shaping them into place, making sure the shape is perfection. And then now mapping out the French tip. So what we're doing is we cleaned our brush off with some acetone. Um, and I'm just going ahead and I'm mapping out where I wanted the French tip part to go. I'm doing this very, very slowly and very, very carefully. Um, like I said, I do charge a little bit more for my French tips just because it's the best thing to do. Um, especially if you're really taking your time on it, really using high quality product. As you can see, I used my Madame Glam paint, um, paint pot. Those aren't cheap as well. So you always want to make sure you're charging for your product and your time. And um, yeah, so I'm going here and I'm mapping it out. And I do go back in and like fix them a little bit. Once they're all done, I can kind of see if they're all even and everything like that. But as you guys can see, look how beautiful that's already looking, you guys. It looks so flawless already. And I'm so, so obsessed with how this nail bed color is coming out. Um, it is really just a gorgeous pink. Honestly, if you do acrylics um, and like you do... Um, like gel x or press-ons also i know a lot of people do like all three or two of those things um this color ended up looking exactly like prettiest pink by valentino so this looks like a cover color it's absolutely stunning if you get those gels you'll definitely be able to recreate this look and um yeah so i am going ahead and just cleaning up the smile lines oh that's what they're called smile lines so i'm cleaning up the smile lines and then just really going ahead and trying to make them as crisp and sharp as possible i'm honestly a neat freak when it comes to this i really try my hardest to make it as perfect as i can and i'm absolutely loving the way they're looking you guys they look so stunning um i absolutely love getting photos when people have my nails on like when they're wearing the sets that i make for them it makes me so happy i someone just sent me a few sets the other day that they um put on or like oh someone sent me a set that they put on that was that they bought for me and i'm like obsessed you guys so this is what it looks like it's so so gorgeous and i loved how those looks looked so i'm just going ahead and then i'm going to be grabbing my white paint pot again and i'm going to be recreating the same thing on the other hand so again this is just a quick little video but it is very much more of an informative video i guess i would say and um i do have some more tutorials for press-ons coming as well i know that's like the most i feel like it's like the most um like the really i don't know how to explain it you guys i'm like so i don't even know how to talk right now but I think it's the most informative type of video when I make press-on videos because if you make press-ons, at least when I started doing them, um, there was no videos out on the internet on how to do them, how to make them look nice. Like, yes, there's probably like basic videos on how to make, make press-on nails and um, like simple things like how to base coat and stuff like that. But when it comes to really to, in, like in-depth tutorials like this where you're like, um wanting to make them look like actual acrylic nails i feel like there isn't a lot of tutorials like that out there so i really hope you guys like this video and i hope you guys find it informative um i know one day when i start doing gel x i'm for sure going to be taking these same tips and incorporating them as well um if you're interested in doing gel x with your clients or something like that trust me these tips will come in handy because i know if i was doing gel x it'd be perfect so um yeah i'm just cleaning it up here kind of doing the same thing and i'm absolutely loving the way they're looking they're coming out so so gorgeous and yeah you guys i just wanted to ask you how you're doing i've been very very stressed lately to be honest with you and i'm moving soon so that's probably why i'm like so stressed out and yeah you guys um i don't really have anything to talk about but I don't know if you guys have any questions about anything that I used or anything like that. Always feel free to leave a comment down below. I do my best to answer all of your guys' questions. And I love um, helping you guys out and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. But I did um, recently like post um, like a thing saying or like, like a week ago I asked like what the best UV lamp is. You guys always ask me and to be honest you guys I don't have a good one. But I did go ahead and purchase the Kiara Sky one, you guys. I splurged. I just did it because I was like, you know what? I use my lamp every day. I might as well just get a good one. So I did splurge on that one. And I haven't even got to use it yet, but I'm so excited to use it. I actually got it in the mail like um, like four days ago. But yeah, I really, really, really want to try it out. And I hope it's worth it. Um, and then right here, I was just going to apply a second coat of white. But I was like, I don't know if I should apply the paint pot white again on top. So that's what I went ahead and did because this gave it the most cleanest look. 
Um, it honestly looks like I didn't even paint the French tips on really. So I really love that. And um, to do this part, I literally just go over it again. And when you go back to clean it up, you'll kind of see where the first smile line was at. And um, in case you were curious, I do cure in between each layer. If you're going to get these Madame Glam paint pots, make sure you're curing them for a minute. Because if not, they won't cure. Um, so yeah, just a minute. But then again, it might be my lamp. My lamp is like trash. So maybe that's why. But um, yeah, so you just make sure you're doing that. And then again, this little cleanup brush is literally just an old poly gel brush. These, these come in like a lot of the poly gel kits and stuff like that. I have like two of them. So I do like using these because the little rounded edge is so, so good. And you don't want to use a square edge brush for this part. It's not going to help you out. It's really going to um, make it harder for you to get that really nice smooth oval shape. So just make sure you're using a small rounded brush. And then I'm going to be going in with this super beautiful Madame Glam Ultra Liner brush. This is the tiniest, skinniest, most perfect little brush, you guys. For detail work, this brush is everything. If you're also going to get something from Madame Glam, I highly recommend you get this brush. It'll literally change your life. Any type of line work that you have to do, hand painting, um, this brush will literally help you out with that. So I'll link this brush down below as well. But I like to go in on the sides and make sure all the sides are completely covered and that they look really beautiful and everything really crisp and um, sharp lines. So I'm just doing this to kind of fix it up a little bit. Um, I have seen that method where you can like map out your French and like color it in. I've actually never tried that. I don't know why. I just feel like maybe this method is a little bit faster. But then again, I've never tried the other method so I probably wouldn't know. Um, I did have a little tiny bit of a smudge right there where I kind of like, I think I hit the nail on the lamp a little bit, but I'm just going ahead and smoothing over that because it wasn't like a big um, bump. It was just a tiny little bit of color missing. So I just did uh, went ahead and then covered that up. And then that's what I'm doing there. Then I'm going ahead and curing that for one minute. And I always like to make sure I cure my white for a long time. I don't know if you guys have ever um, experienced like white bubbling up kind of. That happens a lot to me with like every kind of white, like even normal gel polishes. Um, the white will always kind of like either not cure right or something. I always deal with that. So, um, the same thing happens with black as well. Like the black will never cure. It's so weird. And it happens with like all the brands. But again, I already said this, but it might be my lamp. You guys, my lamp is so bad. So I am just going ahead, cleaning off my brushes with some acetone or actually alcohol. I used alcohol there. And then I'm cleaning up my area a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get to top coating the nails so my favorite top coat to use is the eye gel beauty no cleanse top coat you guys this is what everyone always asks me like how my nails are so shiny what kind of top coat i use and this is the one i use and i don't go in with the extremely thin layer like i make sure there's a good decent amount of product on my brush um as you can see there it's already looking so glossy this is like the best top coat i don't like to use watery top coat it's like the worst thing ever because then i feel like your nails don't look the way they're supposed to i don't know how to explain it but doing um a nice thick layer will really really help your nails just look so glossy and the top coat will literally last forever like i said my nails have been on for over three weeks now the ones that i had on in the video and they were so glossy still like i literally um barely cut them down yesterday i literally had to cut them because they were getting so janked up like i was um literally like filing them and stuff while i was working on other nails so i just decided to cut them off and i'm gonna soak them and then do a new set and whenever I do a new set, I'll for sure make sure I film it for you guys. If you're wondering what happened in my other hand, you guys, I never ended up doing it. I just completely just lost track of time. And by the time I wanted to like actually decorate my other hand, it was too late and the set was like already growing out. So I was like, okay, I might as well cut it off. And then when I do a new one, I'll do them shorter, a little bit shorter um, so that I can like manage my daily life activities. And then I will for sure film it for, for you guys. So yeah, I'm just going in with my top coat, really making sure to get all the sides, the corners and everything like that. You don't want any parts to be missing. And oh my gosh, you guys, they look so gorgeous. I love them. That literally looks identical to Prettiest Pink by Valentino, like the cover acrylic. It looks literally so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this combo. You guys need it in your life.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed. Look at them, they're so gorgeous. And once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and put them into our box. I use um, double-sided foam sticky tape. I get this from Amazon, I'll link it down below. And then um, I just go ahead and stick them on here. I make sure that they're all nice and straight. I really wanna make sure that they're perfect. And then these boxes I also get from Amazon. I get these pink ones from there, but usually I use like white ones from Dollar Tree. I'll link like a few different types of boxes down below so you guys can see. But you guys, I'm so obsessed. Look at this set. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed. I literally said that a thousand times, but this was the inspo pick and this is the set that I made. So as you can see, it's literally almost identical to the picture, which I love. Um, that was my goal when creating this set. Every time I see a set and someone wants it, I will do everything in my power to make sure that it is exactly what they wanted. So yeah, I'm so obsessed. And right here, I was just taking a little video of them. I was like, oh my gosh, so in love with them. And yeah, you guys, that pretty much finishes up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as you guys could see here, I was kind of editing my picture a little bit. And I do have a video on how I do that. I um, will link it in the description down below. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.